Tuesday evening, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping back. Tuesday, June the 6th, July the 16th. Why am I always saying June? July the 16th, 2019. If you can see out the window behind me, we have the Ford four-bottom plow on the back of the Kubota. And I'm going to just see if I can pull it. Not guaranteeing it. It would probably be better suited behind the 756, but... 756 needs a little love before I really want to put that plow behind it. And my buddy Gary, he's looking to get a little bit of a food plot tilled up for deer. Not a lot of plowing, not like I'm going to be hammering on this thing for hours. So we're just going to go over there and see how it does. If it handles it well, maybe we'll try a little bit more. If it doesn't do very well at all, then we won't use it. So, nothing ventured, nothing gained. We're not going to beat on it. Despite what some people might think when I'm putting up, hey, I'm not really beating on my equipment. I'm not doing it that hard. I'm, I have to, I have to get what I can out of it, but I'm not, I'm not running it out of its means. Let's put it that way. So we are gonna doodle over there. We'll see how this goes. All right, there's a quick look at what we turned over with the Kubota. And the, we, we used the four bottom plow behind the Kubota. Um, I didn't really notice any issue with using that to turn over ground. I'm not breaking any speed records. What was I doing? 1.9 miles per hour. Low range, third gear. She turned over just fine. Um, of course, that plow could use a little tweaking, but if we get home, we'll check her out. We got all the flash rust off there. Got a nice sheen on it. Oh, I feel a whole lot better knowing that that. Uh, the uh, Kubota 6040 will pull that four bottom plow. Two miles an hour. I'm running low range, third gear, about 2,000 RPM. We're not cranking her out. We're running right in the torque band. Turns over the ground nicely. I think that's what we're going to stick with. We might try fourth gear in low range, but fourth gear from third to fourth is a considerable difference on a 6040, so. I think third gear is just fine. I don't need to get in any hurry. Um, but now that I know it works, I'm already, I already got a hit list. All right, so you can see the four bottoms on that Ford Plower polished. The Kubota 6040 did a good job handling it. Um, I didn't get any action shots because I was running a pretty short runs with it. We probably only did three quarters of an acre. Um, so I didn't get time to get my camera out and my phone out and take action shots. But trust me, there'll be plenty coming because we're going to have a lot of ground to turn over. Probably first on the chopping block. Out beyond the fence here. That runs basically the length of a 40. It's almost a quarter mile run. Probably 100, 150 yards wide on average. That ends probably... Well, the north end's probably 100 yards wide. The south end is probably 400 yards wide. It's kind of a goofy shape. You'll see when we get into it. I'm going to try to do that this fall yet. But I got to do some fencing. Uh, I got to get the cows blocked out of there permanently. Right now, like a temporary fence, and they, oh, they're always in that damn thing. So we got to do some fencing out here. So that. This is going to be my winter feed lot instead of over there where I'm going to plow. Try to get that turned under this fall. Uh, maybe get some uh, cover crop in there for the winter. That would be awesome. So, deer flies. Only one. I get the one deer fly that's here on the farm. I'm going to get too many of them. Uh, I'm going to get them. Probably drop my phone when I do it. So... I'm going to go in and get a bite to eat, hot shower, maybe drink cold beer. Had a good night. Um, really excited that that 6040 works. We'll have a lot more action shots for you coming, turning over some ground. We'll get the GoPro out. We haven't been able to get the GoPro out a lot and uh, start sticking that on things. And hopefully, weather permitting, we're going to get that front mounted V rake on the tractor here before I'm done with the first crop because second crop, it's just usually out of the question here just won't dry down fast enough so we're gonna try to do the loader mounted v-rig coming up stay tuned 
I do appreciate you guys watching. Questions, comments below. Come on back. We got a lot of videos for you. I appreciate it. We'll see you again next time.